The SPECAC Mini Pellet Press, together with its own 7mm pellet die assembly as the basic solid pack, part number GS01150, allows for the production of 7mm diameter KBR pellets for analysis of solid samples by FTIR spectroscopy. Prior to placing the 7mm pellet die assembly into the pressing area of the Mini Pellet Press, a potassium bromide powder mixture with a solid sample is prepared. A suitable quantity of the solid sample with an amount of KBR powder in the usual ratio of one part sample to 300 parts KBR is ground together using the agate pestle and mortar supplied. In our example, a paracetamol tablet has been pre-crushed to mix in with the KBR powder. The KBR powder and sample is ground together until a consistent mixture is obtained. When the sample has been ground sufficiently, place some of the KBR mixture into the central hole of the 7mm pellet die ring holder. The die ring holder part has previously been assembled to fit over the bottom anvil which has the shorter central plunger piece. Fill the aperture hole of the 7mm pellet die ring holder with sufficient KBR powder mixture to reach the top. Using the edge of a spatula, ensure the powder mixture surface is flush with the 7mm pellet die ring holder's top surface. Now, take the top anvil with longer central plunger piece and place it carefully, plunger face downwards over the sample, die ring holder and bottom anvil assembly, into the central aperture hole. Use light pressure to compact the powder mixture into the hole. When this stage has been reached, you can carefully transfer the complete 7mm pellet die assembly into the mini pellet press for full pressing of the KBR powder sample. Before applying any pressure to the die assembly when it is placed into the press, ensure the pressure screw hand knob assembly is fully unwound anti-clockwise to its start position. Place the die assembly carefully and centrally into the press and loosely clamp the die assembly into position by turning the lead screw assembly clockwise. Before turning the pressure screw knob assembly to apply a load, tighten the lead screw handle assembly a little further clockwise until hand tight to continue the initial compaction of the KBR powder mixture contained within the die. Begin applying a load by turning the pressure knob clockwise. Continue turning the pressure knob until the pressure gauge needle is pointing at the 1.75 tonne division indicator. At this tonnage load reading, stop turning the pressure screw knob assembly as there will be a sufficient tonnage load to compact the KBR powder together to form a pellet. The load is held for circa 10 seconds. Remove the pressure tonnage load from the pellet die assembly by full anti-clockwise rotation of the pressure screw knob assembly. Loosen the lead screw assembly by turning anti-clockwise and remove the pellet die assembly. Separate the top and bottom anvils from the die ring holder. Hold the knurled outer edge of the die ring holder with one hand and twist turn the anvils by holding their knurled edges with the other hand. The KBR sample powder material will have been compacted into a 7mm diameter pellet contained in the die ring holder central aperture hole. The complete die ring holder with KBR pellet is now placed into an infrared spectrometer system by use of the supplied 3 inch by 2 inch slide mount holder. The die ring holder rests simply on the two support rods of the 3 inch by 2 inch slide mount holder. For installation into a spectrometer, we recommend placing the slide mount into position first and then placing the die ring holder onto the slide mount. A typical IR spectrum is shown for the paracetamol sample prepared as this 7mm diameter KBR pellet. When the KBR with sample pellet being held in the die ring holder has been analysed, the pellet is removed from the die ring holder from the following procedure. Place the die ring holder with KBR pellets over the top anvil which has the longer plunger piece and fit the plunger of the top anvil into the aperture hole on one side of the die ring holder. Place the Perspex extractor cap onto the top of the die ring holder and then carefully position this assembly into the press. 
Loosely hold the components together by turning the lead screw anvil assembly clockwise and then continue turning the lead screw assembly to allow the top anvil to push the KBR pellet out of the die ring holder and into the space created by the Perspex extractor cap. When the KBR pellet has been pushed out of the die ring holder, turn the lead screw assembly a couple of anti-clockwise turns and carefully remove the assembly of parts from the pressing area to gain access to the KBR pellet. The intact KBR pellet can now be saved or used for any further purpose and the die ring holder and anvil parts can be cleaned, ready to be used again for the next KBR sample pressing.